this segment of the Word tutorial, we're going to learn how to format a document, how to use some of the basic features of Word and apply the formatting, the tools in Word for formatting a document. So instead of us creating a brand new document here for the sake of time, I have an existing document. We can click here on File and then navigate to the uh, document and simply click on it or you can click on open and then go and browse for the document, locate it wherever it is uh, on your uh, computer. Now, or if you can go to the actual folder wherever your files are and simply double click on that document and open it up. And then click on the document and then open it up. Now in this document, it's just a generic one. I am giving credit to the website that I copied it from. I modified a couple of things in it, but basically this is not really my typing here. So we have this long document. Now, a couple of things. We're going to learn how to change the formatting on it. Let's assume that we typed what we needed to type. Now we want to learn about uh, some of the formatting capabilities. So. In this case, first to select a section here, we can double click on that, on that heading and it will select the whole section. Or we could simply drag it from beginning to end or from end to beginning, hold the, down the mouse and you'll be able to select that particular section. You can do the double clicking also for paragraphs. It will select the whole paragraphs. If you go outside of the document and you triple click, that will select the whole document. Now for this document, let's suppose I wanted to change the font on this document. I uh, select the whole thing. I can either uh, hold down the mouse in the beginning here and drag it down like this or triple click outside of it and select the whole thing. Now at this point, I want to change the font to Colibri. And simply I clicked here on the drop down, chose Colibri and it applied the font. Now under the size here, I could change the size as well directly from here. If I wanted to increase the font size, I can use this icon over here. Change the font uh, type, italics, or apply additional properties. You simply select any of these options in here. If you want to get very granular about the font functionality and that type of thing, you can click on this down arrow here next to the to each group of icons and it will give you additional functions for those settings for the font. So if I click here on this expansion arrow, this is where I can uh, make additional mo modifications. The other thing to learn here is the concept is that if you always want any new documents to start with a particular font or a particular font size, you can come to this screen adjust the properties, and then set this as the default. That's how you set the default font for all documents in Microsoft Word. Then you click on OK, and it'll apply those changes. Obviously, in this case, I didn't make any changes here. So let's say I wanted to make a change to this, and it's basically done. Now, one of the observations for you uh, here is that once you select a bunch of text, whatever that may be, notice that this quick toolbar will show up right above the text that you selected. This is just a bunch of the tools, commonly used tools, so that instead of you having to reach out all the way here to the ribbon and the various functions, this is quicker for you to access and apply a specific property from here. Now, let's say that I selected this text and I applied various properties to this text, to this heading, and now I need to apply it to another section here. Let's say I need to apply it right here. Instead of me having to go and change the properties and apply red and so on, uh, and apply it whatever five different properties that I'm changing, I could actually copy the properties of the formatting from here apply to a, a different section of the document. 
and that is referred to as the format painter. So this is we're copying the formatting of a specific section and applying it to a different part of the document. And the way that works is that we make the modifications in one spot. We go here under the format painter. And notice it, it doesn't seem like much happened except for the icon that changed like this paint brush. Now we go to the other section of the document, select it, and let the mouse go, and it'll, it will apply the same properties of that item that we selected earlier. So that's how you apply the Format Painter tool in Microsoft Word. Now, as far as copying and pasting, of course, you can copy here a segment of it and you can click on copy over here on the top left or press control C go to another section of your document and then can press control V or press paste notice here under the paste option you can do to keep the source formatting you can uh, merge the formatting that means it's going to apply it with what your document has or it's going to paste it as a picture, or it's going to paste it as a text, only removing any formatting. Typically, you want to merge the formatting, or typically, you simply want to press here, paste. You use those other functions in particular advanced features that I might cover later in this tutorial. So now that we pasted it, it's right here. So that's the Format Painter, copying and pasting, changing the font, and so on in the document. Now, one other thing for uh, before we proceed here, sometimes when you're doing uh, fancy formatting of your document, you might need to see where the extra spaces are or what's behind the scenes that are hidden or areas that are hidden or extra spaces in the document and so on. One way to identify those hidden characters or hidden areas is to click on this little paragraph mark here. So it says show paragraph marks and other hidden formatting symbols. You click on it and it will display all the hidden, uh, like the spaces are represented with a dot here. And if there is more than one space, notice there are two dots here. So you could remove that other one. And then notice here, right before the paragraph mark, there is another dot or an extra space in there. And this means that there is a, a return key or a paragraph mark in there. So that's using the hidden uh, codes or symbols in a document. When you're done with it and you don't want to see this anymore, you can simply press it again to remove those hidden characters or to not reveal those hidden characters. Now other things that you can do here before we move into more advanced uh, features, you can also apply one of those styles. So styles are pre-formatted text basically. So you have, and we'll get into this in the next session in more detail. But uh, basically, for now, you can just go in here. You want to apply Heading 1. It has this pre-formatted uh, style. It's in blue. It's all caps and so on. And it's centered as well. If you choose to have a different one, you simply click on it, and it will apply it as needed. Now, notice as I'm uh, simply navigating or browsing through those various styles here, Notice that uh, this is referred to as the live preview in Microsoft Word. So it's basically giving us a preview of what it will look like before it will apply that specific style to this text.